I'll explain it as I'm explaining it. Okay, when you pull the cloth over, you pull it down to the bottom edge of the slate. It has to be at the bottom edge of the slate, the full length here, centered. Center the overhang end to end. And once you've got that done, this is the anchor side, and that becomes the stretch two side. So, as JR took his stretch index test, we clamped one side of the slate, he came over here, he stretched it, and he was able to stretch it to two and a quarter inches. So with it stretched to two and a quarter, when you back off three quarters inch for your working stretch, that gives you an inch and a half of stretch. So this, a piece of aluminum, the inside of it represents an inch and a half width. So when you put this on here, this becomes your inch and a half on that side. Over here, this is the anchor side. We stretch in that direction. But what we want over here is the slack in the side pocket. Now, if you look here, you got two marks here. You got a 13 16 and a 5 8 mark, and you got that at both ends. That is for the full radius cut, three piece slate, one piece slate, like diamonds and stuff. But for a bar table, you have a shallow cut. So on the stretch, on the anchor side, it is 13 16 normally. So half of that is the stretch on a bar slate. So with that being half, it's about three-eighths flat. So from the curve of the pocket, where it curves inward, to the outside edge is three-eighths of an inch. Because three-eighths and three-eighths is basically three-quarter, which is almost 13 sixteenths. So again, and they're only putting a stretch line on the actual edge of the slate. And my pen is not working, so I have to do it over here. Okay. So, three eighths, three eighths. This is the 5 eighths side, and half of this is basically just a hair over a quarter inch. So we're going to split this 5 eighths in half there. Now we come across the top because this is going to come this way and down. So this is our slack right here that we've moved back. Then this is our stretch line that we're bringing over. To the edge of the slate. So, same thing on this side. There. That's how much we're stretching it over. Now, so that we got a balanced stretch. Side to side, and in the end, at the ends, we're stretching this way. Stretching this way. Now, when we lay it over for glue, Start on the stretch two side. Lay it over. Now, When we lay this side over, we want this edge to be about an inch and a half 
from where our stretch line is. And our stretch line is this wide. That's our stretch line on the other side. If we stretch it over to the edge of the slate, that matches it. So we want enough room to make sure, because this is going to be slate that we're gluing to, and this is slate that we're gluing to over here, and we got a three inch roller. So we'll be able to put glue on both sides at the same time simultaneously. So, fold this over, like so. Okay. Now, we have to know where to put our glue on the end of the cloth when we fold it out for gluing. So we're, we're just going to know where the, we're marking where the end of the slate is, like this. <laughs> So when we glue, we're gluing on the inside of this. Because remember, our stretch is up here and we're pulling it back. So we gotta have glue here where we're gonna pull this back to, to the edge of the slate. I'm not sure. Oh my God, Renee. Can you bring Three sixteenths snap rollers, not three eighths, not quarter inch, three sixteenths snap. This is what they look like when they've been used. Okay, so, turn it with your hand again. Yeah, there you go. Okay. So we're not wasting glue and we're not soaking it through the cloth. If you're doing valleys, then you should get you should get seven to eight real easy once you become proficient with the glue. What I'm going to show you today is I'm going to show everybody out there that says they can put the glue on with spray glue as tight as you can with this glue here that's a lie that's because you don't want to learn how to glue it correctly so you want to do the lazy way and keep buying spray glue well, i'm going to show everybody that spray glue will not hold as tight as this does so you're about to find out Glue. We got the pocket shelves underneath glue. Just on the sides. 
Yeah, just on the side, nothing on the top, nothing underneath, except the pocket shelves. Now, we're gonna lay out the glue on the cloth to match the glue on the slate. everybody makes is trying to stick the glue too soon. When it feels like this, mm -hmm. and you can see the glue moving, it's too soon. You gotta wait until it feels like the stickiness is duct tape. Mm -hmm. So that when you pull your fingers away, it really wants to grab onto your fingers, but it, the glue isn't coming with it. This glue is not designed to stick on each other on two sides wet. You gotta wait until it's like, duct tape and duct tape, and then you put the two together. That's good. So, give it a few minutes to get dry first. Okay. Okay, now you can start. That's a 3 8 stretch, 3 8 stretch that we put here. That is to allow us to line this up, see here, mm -hmm. with the edge of the pocket shelf. Okay, to the bottom edge of the slate, and then bring this out about four or five inches. Stretch it while you're stri sticking it. Okay, then rub it out. And then do the same thing on the other side. Talk about that rub out now for your glue. Yeah, I just did. Okay, now line that stretch index mark to the pocket right there. Stretch it. Then rub it out with the razor side of the razor blade, razor knife. There. Now, when you stretch the end, keep in, keep in mind which end you're stretching first. Because when you do the other side, you have to stretch this end first also. So, which side are we stretching first? We're going to stretch to the foot end okay. of the table. Okay. So now. Oh, you want me to? Yeah. Actually. Okay. See, I hold it here, and I use two hands to stretch it. Now, I only stretch until the elasticity is gone. I don't need to go further than that. This thumb is right here, ready to line up with the edge of my pocket. This one keeps it from sticking, so now I can come along and move my claw up and down to stick my entire side. There. Now I go back to this end, reverse my hands, 
right hand stretches, left hand helps, right hand thumb, right there at the edge of your pocket shell, okay? There, rub it out. Okay, now, you grab it. Now, grab this one to the claw, and we'll bring it over. Don't worry that you can stretch the car out here. That's not the point. You can't take away your working index. This lines up with the edge of your slate. Stay with your line. Stay with the stretch line. Now come over here and do this other side. And again, I don't care if you can stretch this cloth more. If you stretch it more, it's going to be out of balance. You will find that out when we go to stretch the ends. So now that we got it stuck here, we started with this end. Now down here, you see all that slack? Mm -hmm. Watch this. This is gonna pull here, this steers. Like this, you ready? Now, as I'm pulling this way, now look at my body stance. Ain't nobody in the world using spray glue that will hold this tight with just that little bit of glue right there. Nobody. No spray glue made. Okay, now, we'll show you this end. And again, look at my body posture and tell me a spray glue holds this tight. Keep in mind, only this much has my glue. Now, that would have to be the only spray glue on it. If you use a spray glue, and you want to believe in it, bet on your spray glue. Now, look at my, look at my posture. I weigh 285 pounds. Did you see that, that, that right here? Only this portion had glue on it that held it. <laughs> now, where's all that slack? The slack in the middle pocket. It's pulled out. Haven't even, even finished stretching it yet. Now, doesn't matter which end you stretch the rest of the way now. And again, I can stretch past my mark, but if I do that, I'm gonna hurt the stretch on my ends. Because when I finish getting this side stuck, believe me, I'm gonna work to stretch the ends. And when I, you see, you see this line going, grain going like this. And the grain is curving like this too. When I have both sides stuck, and I'm trying to pull this end and that end, it tries to pull the sides in. So as it tries to pull the sides in that are anchored, this little bit of slack here, you ain't got it. It is pulled out, it is tight. So all you have to do is get it to the line that you took a stretch index test to determine what your strength is and trust that the rest of the measurements will do the job right. Not everybody has the same strength, therefore not everybody can put the cloth on with the same stretch. But as long as you put it on with a rectangular stretch, it's still going to be right.
There you go. Sides are on. Cloth stretches more in one direction than another. Okay, your stretch line that we marked out that was an inch and a half from the edge of the slate is now from here to here because I'm stretching this way. But at this end, this one, this stretch line is a lot closer to the edge of the slate. So the cloth is stretched more this way than that way. So that tells us which end we stretch first. We stretch the end that the, that the stretch line is furthest from the edge of the slate. So we're pulling our cloth back this way now because it is stretched in that direction. So now, we get two grips of this. Make sure that your vice grips are pulling away from each other and then pull it until you get that centered line to the center of the slate. Okay. Rub this out. Now you have an anchor point here to pull that in towards. Yeah. down here.
Yeah, yeah hold that speech, yeah. Pull it back up your way. You ready? Cutting the pockets now. One, two, three. Up, down, and under. Pull back, stretch, and stick. Like that. Rub it. Rub it. Turn the excess. No. Cut the excess out. Separate the side at the edge of the slate. So that when you're stretching it, you're not trying to pull this at the same time. Pull it down, bottom edge of the slate, bottom edge of the slate. All you're doing is split in half, split in half, split in half. Now when you pull it, up, down, under, thumbs, stick. This finger, like this. Rub it, bond it. Then cut your extra tail off. That's a pocket. I hate to look at them tails. There. They trip up a lot of people because the side pockets always end up bubbling out on everybody. You cut that slack away like that. Now take the middle of it. Cut it in half. Cut it in half again. Cut it in half again. Now when you stretch this, up, down, under. Now listen. Did you hear the claw stretch apart? There. Down and under. Down and under. There. Oh, yeah. Yeah. 